TLC's 90 Day Fiancé draws fans in thanks to its fascinating real-life stories of everyday people around the world. However, it has also produced some of reality TV's most entertaining breakout stars. The series has showcased cast members out of their comfort zones, like Angela Deem from the American South in Nigeria or Asuelu from Samoa in rural Utah. A fish-out-of-water story makes for easy comedy, but some cast members prove to be comedians in their own right. Meme-worthy 90 Day Fiancé favorites like Darcy Silva and Chantal Everett have made a career out of their popularity on the show, and their comedic impulses helped get them where they are today. Darcy Silva. Darcy Silva quickly became a fan favorite after first appearing on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days. She quickly became famous for her larger-than-life personality, high fashion sense, and determination to find love overseas. However, fans continue to focus on Darcy thanks to her ability to make them laugh. Darcy perhaps shines brightest when she's with her twin sister Stacy. The two have a long-standing sibling rivalry, and watching them exchange passive-aggressive digs makes for what feels like a buddy comedy. It's no wonder the two got their own spin-off series, Darcy and Stacy. Sinjin Colchester. Sinjin Colchester is one of 90 Day Fiancé's most charming cast members. He appeals to viewers with his free spirit and makes anyone watching root for him. The South African made his way to the American Northeast thanks to fiancé Tania Maduro, but the two certainly have their rocky moments. The two met while traveling and adjusting to romance away from the excitement abroad proved difficult. Sinjin shows audiences how funny he can be when he spends his days with Tania's mother, while Tania is in Costa Rica. As Sinjin is forced to adjust to the cold New England weather and spend his days doing chores for his soon-to-be mother-in-law, pure comedy ensues. Things may not have gone as planned for Sinjin following his engagement, but he has provided audiences with a few chuckles. Paul Stell. Paul Stell and Karen Martins have one of the most difficult romances audiences have seen on 90 Day Fiancé. Paul faces the challenges of visa restrictions coming from his past legal issues, financial disaster, and the massive culture shock of moving back and forth between a remote village in Brazil and rural Kentucky. His situation is ripe for hijinks, but he makes audiences laugh most just being himself. Paul is one of the show's most hilarious castmates, and a lot of his humor comes from being stuck in his ways. Time and time again, audiences see Paul overpack with massive trunks and suitcases when visiting Karen, awkwardly lugging them onto a small boat. Furthermore, Paul repeatedly running away from cameramen, has essentially become a recurring bit. Big Ed Brown. Big Ed Brown was a breakout star of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days. The professional photographer won fans' hearts looking for romance with Rosemary Vega overseas in the Philippines. However, he stood out among his castmates as one of the funniest people to ever appear on the series. His antics seem to know no bounds, from when he shows off his technique of mayonnaise scalp treatment to his infamous discussion of personal hygiene with Rose, landing him in the doghouse. Big Ed made his mark with fans, getting him a spot on 90 Day Fiancé, The Single Life, where he continues to make audiences laugh in his tenacious search for love. Chantal Everett. There's no question Chantal Everett is one of the most loved 90 Day Fiancé cast members. Her spin off series, The Family Chantal, is approaching its third season, proving fans can't get enough of her and Pedro's whirlwind romance. The feud between Pedro Gimeno and Chantal's family makes for great comedy, 
but Chantal manages to make audiences laugh all on her own. Much of her humor comes from her high level of confidence, as Chess never afraid to put Pedro in his place, or speak her mind to her opinionated family. However, Chantal really shines when she gets together with Pedro's sister. The two can't seem to bury the hatchet in compromise, and when Chantal tries to bite her tongue for Pedro's sake, the arguments are straight out of a comedy sketch. Asuelu Pula. Asuelu Pula is a standout cast member, as he meets his wife Kalani Fagata in person, while so many of his peers meet their partners via dating apps. But while the couple may have met on vacation in Samoa, they came back to reality hard when they started building a family in rural Utah. Asuelu makes audiences laugh from his first moments on the show, brazenly taking off his shirt in the airport after landing in the U. S to surprise Kalani with a dance. However, he continues to show audiences his sense of humor. At times, Asuelu has a hard time adjusting to his new way of life, but he keeps things light with corny quips like telling Kalani the chocolate he gives her is the sweet of his love for her. Angela Deem. Angela Deem is one of 90 Day Fiancé's biggest stars. Fans were drawn to her unique story from her debut, as she moved between the vastly different worlds of the American South and Nigeria in a search for love with husband Michael Isla Sanmi. The culture shock that comes to both Michael and Angela makes for great comedy, but Angela brings laughs that no other cast member could. Angela seems to have a new one-liner in every episode she appears on, and is the show's born comedian. She can be seen making jokes in her interviews, and at one point literally throws a cake in Michael's face like a clown pieing an audience member. No matter what Angela's situation with Michael is, she always finds a way to make audiences laugh. Enfisa Arkhipchenko. Enfisa Arkhipchenko and Jorge Nava are one of the most infamous couples to come out of 90 Day Fiancé. Between Enfisa's exploding modeling career and Jorge's incarceration following his time on the show, the pair's drama was non-stop both on and off camera. Enfisa and Jorge always seemed to have something to bicker about, and that's where Enfisa's funniest moments were. Anfisa makes audiences laugh thanks to her signature bluntness. She has several one-liners as a result, from telling Jorge she simply doesn't want to date a liar, to letting him know she thinks she deserves everything. Anfisa is never afraid to let her true feelings be known, making for some of the series' funniest moments. Jihoon Lee. Jihoon Lee has his work cut out for him, after getting together with Devin Clegg on 90 Day Fiancé. He has to navigate the difficulties of traveling back and forth between South Korea and the U. S. Welcoming a child into the world and dealing with a colorful legal past. However, Jihoon seems to look on the bright side, making jokes in interviews and out in public during his time on the series. Perhaps one of Jihoon's funniest moments comes from his proposal to Devin early on in his season. He prepares his ring in a glass of ginger ale and has his server present it to Devin, joking to her not to lose it before she returns to the table. When the glass arrives, Jihoon is forced to drink out of it to retrieve the ring, and the whole proposal ends with breaking glass. Jihoon easily makes the audience laugh, whether Hess joking or performing unintentional slapstick. Michael Alessandri. Angela might be the bigger personality in her and Michael's relationship, but that doesn't mean Michael brings nothing to the table. Michael works hard in his efforts to get a visa and start building his life in person full time with Angela. However, the two face challenge after challenge in getting there, making for some major arguments.
While Angela makes jokes during her interviews, Michael has a subtler sense of humor. Fans won't deny that a lot of the laughs from Angela and Michael come from their blowout arguments, but Michael can be funniest when the pair is getting along. Boisterous Angela will put Michael out of his comfort zone with wild claims or bold displays of affection in public. Michael's deadpan reactions, often saying things like Angela, you crazy can make for even better humor than when the two are verbally brawling in a restaurant.